All right, here we are. It is the 10th of June, so let's see if we can fix this thing up. There's a zero. Let's see if we've got our thing here. There it is. <laughs> What are you doing? Where are you doing? Where are you doing? Where are you doing? Where the heck? He's super fast. Behind us! <laughs> uh, yeah! Yeah! Fuck <gasps> that! Take our chances. Sounds of the bush. Okay, Alfie boy. You ready to sit? Alfie, sit. 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 No, Alfie, sit. Alfie. Sit. 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 Good boy. Sit. You wait there. You waiting? Waiting comfortably. Sit. Stay. 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 Stay there. Hold it. Stay. Stay. Okay, go. Go, 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 go. Oh, another stick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're a crazy dog. You crazy dog. There he is. There he is. He's throwing the stick down. I'm wearing my my Bunnings hat because if it rains, it will stop. Maybe the rainwater coming into my eyeballs. I just found a new YouTube channel which is a blend of Potato Jet and Peter McKinnon. Very funny. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, I can't remember the name of the company though. Light media, something like that. Very funny, very, very funny. And informative, so it's actually both entertaining and educational, which is awesome. Uh, Alfie's doing his doo-doo, so I've got to go and pick up. Hang on. So there's only a couple of th things which are slightly negative about dog ownership. One of them is the the doo-doo, the pick up. Blah. Blah kind of off but that's like 0 0.001% 0 0.0001% 0.0001% of um, dog ownership the rest of it is just pure joy they are happy to see you to uh, go for walks to uh, run to go to the beach to go in the car to go to the backyard, everything is an adventure for them. They just love human interaction. They love it. And so it makes you feel really good. I think that's why people love dog ownership. It's all about them. <laughs> ah, there you go. I think there's just a joy in dogs. They just seem to always be happy, unless they're sick and they're in pain and of course but even then man they seem to hide it it's really interesting oh you hear the bell church bell's gone ah it's friday afternoon restrictions are being lifted for the pandemic here in sydney australia still can't do international travel and we still are restricted to meeting i think less than 50 people in certain situations and I think it's 10 or 20 people at your home now. Uh, churches still can't meet unless they're meeting um, under 50 people, which a lot of churches are over that number, so probably not meeting as often as they'd like to. 
in a building. Um, yeah, not much else going on. So this weekend, I'll be pre producing more videos. Um, got some ideas for videos in my head as well. So lots of ideas, which is cool. Uh, I'm kind of secretly hoping I don't get a job so that I can continue doing this. I'm actually really enjoying making videos, believe it or not. Uh, so uh, the skill level is actually improving a tiny little bit. I've seen some improvements. I think, I think if we go back to my earlier, early videos, which is not that long ago, um, there's a couple of things that I've made changes uh, in in videoing, so uh, looking forward to making more and more improvements and learning much, much, much more. There's so much to this. It's like science and art coming together. Uh, there's a lot of science and there's an awful lot of art as well. So it's really stretching me. It's good. I feel like I'm really um, having to learn a lot. It's a lot of knowledge I don't have, and it's great fun learning about how to tell a story using video and how to light in particular uh, sound is important and then capture that light on a machine which can then enhance the storytelling I think because ultimately storytelling is just a person communicating to another person or persons something that happened, which is either entertaining, funny, or educational, or instructional, but that's educational. So, yeah, it's just one person talking to one or many, or many people talking to many people, or many to one, and communicating. And I love that idea of communicating, like really communicating. And I think it gets down to connection. Story and connection, and making that as seamless as possible. So the less attention which is drawn to the technical side of telling the story and the more engagement there is with actually the story, I think that is what we're aiming for. So the tools, the cameras, lights, sound, are going to fall away eventually when the technology gets to the point where you don't even notice, don't even know what technology and don't care what technology is being used the story kind of um, takes over so I got that in Avatar I got that big time in Star Wars oh my god Star Wars was a t turning point for me and I know for lots of people it's uh, man for all of the uh, all the flack I think that George Lucas got for writing the script and the actors in particular saying no one talks like this <laughs> it was so interesting to see how they, everybody underestimated the vision that George Lucas had for Star Wars. I think he was the only one who knew it was going to be fantastic. And I think he, he actually did it for himself. That's what I'm trying to do here with these videos. Is I'm, I actually don't care whether you like this or not, <laughs> I've got to be honest. So I don't care if you subscribe or like or not. Uh, and I'm just doing it for me. I mean, I'm enjoying this myself. So these are almost like my home movies, which I'm sharing with the world. Uh, just because it's a platform that I don't have to worry about storage for, for. I can put the YouTube videos up on YouTube and kind of forget about them. If YouTube folds, then yeah, that'll be a problem. But I figure when I'm dead and gone anyway, those memories won't mean anything to anyone else anyway. So. Nothing's lost if that should all fall apart because um, I've experienced what I wanted to experience in the making of these. So it's for me more than anyone else that I'm doing this. And uh, if you're enjoying it, you're along for the ride as well and we can enjoy that together in the comments or whatever. Um, yeah, if we meet in person, even, fan, even more better. Uh, even more better? Yeah, even more better. If we meet in person, that'd be... Uh, still really cool as well um, but um, yeah primarily I'm doing this for me I'm just loving the whole process it is so interesting 
uh, yeah, so we'll see how we go in the future. It was uh, interesting, I was looking at YouTube earlier today and came across some uh, video that was created in the 80s on the old tape video players. Someone converted it to, uh, to digital and put it up on YouTube uh, for us to enjoy. And it's so interesting to see all the little things that were around in the 80s and 90s that we just don't see anymore captured on video for the duration of YouTube's existence. Yeah, so hopefully this will be a little part of that in the future, possibly. Um, capturing parts of Camden in 2020 during the pandemic. All right, we're in the forest. Mail time, I got two parcels today. Uh, I don't know why I enjoy mail time so much, but I love it. Um, again, I have no clue what I have ordered here or where it's coming from or who it's from or what it is. So it's just as much fun for me as I hope it is for you. We've got something blue and yellow, I can see. Oh, 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 what is this? Digital power, BP827 batteries. Oh yeah, I got some more batteries. These are batteries for the video camcorder. Oh, there's even a protective cover, nice. So these are even bigger than the other ones. My gosh, the other ones are like um, three hour, um, three hour life. So these must be like close to five or six hours on their own. The thing, the reason I've done it is that we can do um, video with the camcorder um, literally for over 24 hours if you've got a big enough memory card. So it takes the SD card. So I figured if I'm out and about and I don't have enough power, then let's get batteries to make sure that everything works for making extra long movie length videos because I want to make movies. This is what this is all about. So I've got two batteries and battery charger. So let's... Uh, <gasps> It's even got a cigarette lighter charger. I can take it on the motorbike to make sure we've got power. That's great. Oh, don't forget, keep these twisties. I'm a little bit OCD, I know. Anyway, keep the twisties, get rid of the box. Might keep the protective covers. They might be handy in case something shorts out. Um, we don't want to have fires, etc. I'll keep that on there for the time being because that'll be great for, movie, uh, for a portable kind of power requirements. Now, I want to... I want to check this out. I want to test test it out with uh, real live 240 volts here in Australia, 50 hertz. Unlike the Americans with a little bit less power. Apparently 240 volts is the perfect voltage for frying human beings. So how about that? Maybe the Americans had a better understanding of, of electricity than we Australians here. We followed the British. You know how cool the British are. There's an input on this. What's that? Oh, okay, you can do the 12 volt input over there, DC 12 volts, yep. And then that'll charge off the um, car or motorbike battery or 240 volt input here. So there's a green light, I'll plug that in there. Looks like that goes that way. And we have a red light, okay. So I'm assuming once we go green light, that's fully charged. I will let you know. Now, package number two. Sounds crinkly, sounds small. Oh, it's a black case. And it's got something possibly inside. Yes, <laughs> I remember now. I bought the Samsung T5 uh, 500 gig external SSD hard drive, and this is the case for it. So I can transport that safely and securely. It's got a lanyard. 
which is cool. So I'll attach the lanyard to that. Look at that. Nice. It came at a different time. Okay, there's mail. Mail time. That's mail time finished for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I'm excited about these batteries. This should be really cool. So, a feature length movie coming your way soon. We'll see. I got coffee? I don't think so. Would you like me to buy a coffee? I can buy a coffee, mate. No, thanks, John. For sure. No, oh, just, so, yeah. Just, do you want to share this one? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. We're at the Camden Markets. And it's. Hmm. What about us? I thought you were going to build me up here to one. Jerry, do that again. I dare you to do that Jerry, again. Jerry, do you want. Uh, what's his name? Jerry? Jerry? Harry. Harry, do, do, do you want to share. Do you want to share this one? That's disgusting, right? Yeah. So, Camden um, Markets. Harry, you're supposed to film us, not, not the. I'm just market. doing this quickly and I'll come oh, back to you. Okay. So, the Camden Markets, we're supposed to be in. Uh, we're supposed to be in Camden lockdown mode. And look at this. We've got people everywhere. And they're talking to each other and they're, you know, really close. And, and these two characters. Now, in this country, the Harry, pandemic is over. Can you just move over. back a bit? You're too close with this COVID-19. In this, in, this, um, in, this, in this country, the pandemic is just about over. That's in other countries, it's just ramping up. It's so true. As, as long as we keep our borders shut, that's it. we're going to be okay here. We it's need true. to build one of those Trump walls. Yeah. Like Queensland did. That's right. The, the um, Queensland um, has locked us out. Yeah. That's true. They won't let us into Queensland. They've built a Trump wall now. They have too. They're not letting us cross no, the borders. No, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, no. no but yeah. Um, in all seriousness, like we we shouldn't be doing this. Well, what get, do you mean? Go, just move away from us. <laughs> that's Try my that's best. Better. Is that better? That's better. But you two are too close. Do you have to re, we're, we're re family. focus that now? Family are no. allowed. You are not family. You're too close to us. You're not family. Yes, we are. No, we're brothers. We're brothers from another mother. <laughs> <laughs> You used to say that about me. You used to say that about me. I can't believe it. What's going on? Brothers from another mother. I like that. I'm going to use it in driving lessons. Has he never heard this before? No. He's, he's too old. He oh, my God. Know. Yeah, That's the guy at so the front, sad. he says to me as I walk in, uh, good morning, young man. Young man? Yeah, he's doing that because he knows I'm looking old with his beard. And he's just kind of, you know, <laughs> it's what you do. Like you call an old man, sir. Come you do. Way, sir. To, um, you know, to gets, insult them. It gets, it gets better. He, he was insulted the other day. <gasps> How? By a um, father, he rang up, rang up just to ask yeah. his, about his experience. Yeah, he oh. said, um, "How long you've been doing uh, driving lessons?" I said, "I just started yesterday." <laughs> <laughs> so I let a little gap. Then I said, "Oh no, no, I've been doing this um, a while now." And he says, "Oh, you sound pretty young." Oh what? Yeah. This is over the phone, obviously. Right, yeah. But then another mother he didn't comes see down you. and says to my student, "says um." I didn't know, uh, your, your, your driving instructor is older than I thought, he's like in his 60s, eh? Because it was this beard, this COVID beard. It's all grown white and bushy. That's true. It made you look like an old codger. Have you gone and trimmed it a little bit? Uh, yeah, but not for a while, but I will need to do some more maintenance yeah, this weekend. Yeah, because I have heard that um, having the facial hair makes you look older. Yeah, yeah. I got yeah. told that day no, one. I, get, I now I got get to buy alcohol bit. and they don't ask ID. <gasps> hey, that's a good plus. I get to buy non-alcohol still. They always ask me for ID. They only give me the non-alcoholic stuff. Because you've got the perfect body. You have, yeah. You've got the body of a 24-year-old. They wouldn't give me the alcoholic stuff. No, no, I don't blame them. Um, are the doctors still telling you that you've got the body of a 24-year-old? No. It's what do they say now? 60 now. 60 Yep. I lost it. I lost it 10 years ago. <laughs> oh, that's, that's terrible. I wouldn't put up with it. I changed no, that's, doctors. That's yes. pretty bad. I, know. Yeah, I should that's go back to bad. the same doctor. Mm. I think you should. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I'm impressed that we've got so many people down here. And you know, this uh, place is uh, a happening place. You it know, is. Every Saturday, it's... Uh, <coughs> Hang on, I thought it was once a, m once a month. Is it every no, Saturday it's every, now? W every week, every Saturday. Yeah, no, it's, they it's, a, it's a shame Ricky. Ricky's not here with us. Yeah, yeah it is. He's working today. God bless Ricky. That's, That's it. Uh, the, left, the left leaning guy. Hey, yeah. the gate's not locked. Oh. oh, no, this is Camden. We don't no, lock our houses here. No public access. We, we it's not even locked. We don't, this is Camden. We don't trespass. We leave that alone. We're not like oh, true. You know, the hooligans. Sydney, the hooligans in Sydney. Like the ones at the park last night. Oh, what happened to the park last night? Oh, Black Lives Matter. We're all over the place. Oh yeah. Oh, in the park. Yeah, sharing COVID. Hey, sharing COVID. Sharing nice. COVID. No, nice. no, no distancing. No. Where are your masks anyway? We I told you we're, we're family. We don't need masks. <laughs> what does that make me then? You're too close to us. You need to stand back a bit. No, no. Am I family or not? Oh yes, you you are. Ah, so I don't need a mask either. That's it. Do I need a mask? Yes, just don't stand, stand, stand too close. See, this is double standard. <laughs> yeah, no. What am I supposed to do with this? No. Man. No, yes. Man, oh, man, oh, man. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, here we are. So it's actually ramped up during the pandemic. That's it. 
to have more people meet more oh, regularly. You should see it than earlier prior. on. It's packed earlier on. Was it? This is hot. this is hardly anyone here. This is packed now. Look at this. Look at all the cars. Shoulders with people before. Yeah, I was um, almost knocking people over. There was a guy that had to get out of my way when mm -hmm. when I was pulling up. I'd time. get out of your way too. Did you um? <laughs> did you put hand sanitizer on when you came in? <laughs> no, I didn't. Because you got a touch. You've got a touch. No, no. I use yeah, the plastic bit that everyone else has yeah, touched. I don't. I so use... you catch COVID for yeah. like ten seconds. That's why I never touch and it. And then you Correct. hoping that you you kill the COVID <laughs> when you put the sanitizer on. So what you've got to do is you've got to touch the infected top. Mm -hmm. Uh, wash your hands oh. and then wash that mm -hmm. whole thing yep. no, down. Yep. Then, no. then wash your hands again. Just bring your own sanitizer in yeah. your car before you yeah. get out your car. That's right. You quickly ah. kill all the COVID yeah. and yeah. then walk um, straight past. That John, John will attest to this. I, yeah. I've been a hand sanitizer before this COVID. Yep. You really? know, meeting James, at McDonald's. James put me onto it. James you know, meeting at McDonald's. Yes. I used to bring it in with yep, McDonald's. We that was before it. this COVID crap. And we used to share it. Actually, you did too. Yeah. He used to share it with me. Now he doesn't share his his. He sanitizes, no, he thinks it's too yeah. expensive. Man. That's because they're uh, <laughs> brothers from another mother. Yeah. You know it's getting pretty hot out here. <laughs> it's I'm really <laughs> actually getting warm. I'm dressed for winter and it's winter, but it's like summer. <laughs> this is winter. You know what I mean? Yeah, I agree. Oh my gosh. So um, what's happened to Ricky? Why isn't he here? Oh, he's working today. Oh. Yeah, he's got um, about 100 cars he's got to clean. Oh, what? Detail and, uh, okay. And he's got the kids too this weekend. Yeah, yeah. So, um, wow. He's just doesn't got the availability that you, you know, the normal that other people might old have, people. He's, 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 uh, he's, yeah, he's busy. Because we're all old now, you know that? Yeah. John, did old. you know that? We're old. Old. Very old. Our kids tell us all the time. Mm. Yep. Mm. They You're tell old. Us. Old and fat. Funny thing is, they, they don't think they'll ever be old. They think that we were created old and they were created young and that is the way it is. Yeah, yeah. And that's the way it always will be. But they don't get this bit where they, <laughs> they will know they will get old themselves. True. That's poetic justice though, because yeah. we'll be there. And, and, and we'll the tell words them. They now use, you're old. The words they use now. Yes. Dad, it's not the olden days. <clears throat> I'm going, what do you mean by olden days? Yeah, they mean like the 90s. That's what they mean. Even the, the 90s is not olden days. So is cool still cool? Can you still say cool? No, you can't say cool. They don't know what cool is. <laughs> They know what trigger means? Trigger? They know what, what, what is, the word what, trigger means? What does trigger mean? Uh, when you what? say something in general discussion mm -hmm. and and you might say something that may not be, you know, may not be offensive to most of society except right. for the, those who are a bit below 18. Right. And they, they somehow get triggered by oh, certain so things that you might say. They're triggered. Okay. Triggered. Okay. Trigger. Yeah, okay. triggered. They're triggered, yeah. Yes. Got triggered. Very triggered. It's, everything's yeah. about being triggered. Triggered. Nice. Like if nice. you say something like, I oh, see that guy over there. Mm -hmm. they, they go, I can't believe you called, a, called that guy a guy. <laughs> I can't believe you called that man a guy. You, how do you know he's a guy? <laughs> I'm looking and I'm going, I think it's a guy. Pretty yeah, sure. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and they get triggered. Because I said that a bloke, so a male... So you got is, triggered? No, they got triggered. They got triggered. They yeah. got triggered. What your kid got... Your, 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 they, they, your you, said, got you said you talked about a male, yeah. biological male person yeah. walking <laughs> in front of you. And you said, see that guy over there? You might use the word guy. Yeah. And they, 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 they kind of go, what, what, yeah. what did you say? Guy? Yeah. How do you know this yeah. is a guy? Yeah. 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 Could be. Yeah, you got to prove it. What if they identify as not being a guy? Yeah, see, that, that, that's their mind You're just treating me, now. Harry. You just triggered me, Harry. That's that's um uh, that's their mind. <laughs> I'm triggered. <laughs> now you're triggering me, Harry. <laughs> triggering. See, everything's triggering. It is. Triggering. You know, triggering. we all get triggered. We trigger each other. <laughs> we trigger each other all the time. Yeah. We don't get triggered. That's and we just we just call it we just call it banter. Well, that's what triggering yeah. is, isn't it? No, brotherly banter. They really get triggered. <laughs> it's brotherly banter. They're triggered as means like you're making me mad. Do they See, get I like to. I like it's to like trigger. The violence comes um, next with them. <laughs> I like to trigger Ricky with some Trump Trump posts. The, oh, you triggered. guys on Viber are driving me nuts. <laughs> getting triggered. Getting triggered. Man, you trigger me all the time with all your conspiracy theories. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> At the, the end of the day, that's all we've got left. That's it. Exactly. The police No, I, I, mean, I thought you meant cons conspiracy theories. When yeah, you're right. That's you, all we've got when, left. When you, <laughs> when you see truth, people don't recognise it anymore, Harry. They call it conspiracy. John, what is the truth? A tin, you've got a tin foil hack uh, uh, brigade. That's what you exactly. are, you know. That's what know. they make you. They make when you, you try like, and reveal the truth, they yeah. call you tin hat man. But what is the truth? Mm -hmm. How can you tell it's what the truth is? Well, the truth is what I say. Oh, okay. Thanks. Thanks, James.
If he says it, it's Birdman. true. He only reveals truth. The Birdman reveals truth. And that's it. So yeah. is the world flat or is it round or spherical? Um, well, it's a very good question, that. Thanks. Yeah. Now, it appears within the construct to be round. Right. But really, because we live in a matrix simulation, yes. it's actually flat. We're just perceiving that flat. Did you hear that word? Round. Hear that word simulation? You got to pick heard, up on that word. I heard that. Simulation. So hang on, we're living in a 3D world, but yep. we're simulated recording it world. in a 2D simulated, simulated right. world. That's it. I think you're, you're, you're yeah, we're, 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 so it's the round. mechanics of it is, is just 2D, but it's, it's been projected. <laughs> Something your viewers we're in the may simulation. not be able to understand, it, it, Harry. It's, it's, we're, I don't we're understand seeing this. it as 3D. I'm a simple man. <laughs> so a round is actually more correct than spherical because it's 2D. Well, look, look at me an example, right? Yeah. You, you've played like Halo, haven't you? Oh, I remember Xbox. Halo. Yeah, now, yes. don't need, it's not the, it's you about remember Halo. It? I the one who introduced uh, it to excuse us. Excuse me, John. John. Gosh, John. Um, <laughs> I think I was introduced. When you're in the Halo world, it's yes. all 3D and round. No, but it's, when, isn't it 2D? Oh, look, just it's 3D. Okay. Is it's it a, really? Yeah, it's a 3D world. Yeah, Mine it's was rendered 2D. 3D. Okay. All right. Let's just now, attempt. if you step outside the world and look at your Xbox, right? The Xbox is flat. You sure about that? Yeah. yeah I've I'm got a curved flat. screen. I'm, I'm with John. I've got a curved screen. No, no, not the screen. Oh, man. The actual Xbox itself what a show off. is flat. No, I don't. <laughs> I was just trying to see if I can trigger him. <laughs> you triggered me. <laughs> you know, boys, we should have bought a blanket too. We should have, eh? Hey? Oh, no, thanks, guys. It's a great idea. Oh, I should have brought my dog down as well. share the blanket. Do you think she'll uh, let us sit on some of her blanket? I think so. It's such a lovely day today. Look it at is. this. It's so great. we've exhausted that conversation, haven't we? That's gone. Oh, unless you want to talk more about it. No, no, that's funny. I, I, I can't would. believe you even brought it up. <laughs> me either. <laughs> But you know, it's funny. Like that looks like a um, a, a, a gate. Yeah. But it's not. It, it's a construct of a gate. Really. If you zero in with a microscope, there's nothing oh, there. That's true. Yes. You can fly there's, straight through us. There's, there's, if you, it, it's just. It says we 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 have been programmed to receive that data oh as gosh. a as a gate. You should be called the professor. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Straight up. No hesitation. Yeah. yeah definitely. Yeah. Do you want me to stop um, videoing? You can do the pond if you like on the markets. You what you came to do? Well, I did, yeah. I wanted to get some uh, background because one of the plans I've got now for Larger Than Life, mm -hmm. the new episode, yeah, yeah. Is, is, to, uh, is to get a green screen going with background. Look at the size of those beetroots. Far out. Huge. Massive. Now, this is, you said the new episode of Larger Than Life. <laughs> did, did I miss the first episode? Oh, uh, well, let's call it a pilot. The pilot, I need to get that. I've got to nail it. It's got to be really good. Yeah, but it, it, if I miss that as well? No, I haven't done it yet. So you've done nothing? No, I've been practicing with this and just trying to understand mm -hmm. how to do vi yeah. good video. No, uh, I love green screen. The problem with green screen, I haven't got any room in my bunker to set up permanently. No, you know, it's, it's, it's like I've got no room. Right now. No. What is that? It's like summer right now. Yeah, it does, it's quite it? warm, hey? I'm going to strip off soon. Right. <laughs> you want to get naked? <laughs> Now you're triggering me, Harry. <laughs> triggering me. I'm going to use that in lessons. Oh, when a student it. like um, doesn't like something, like can't, they triggered. can't bring the damn um, picture point up slow. Bang! Oh. I'm going to say, look, you're triggering me. <laughs> you're doing it on purpose now. Will they understand what uh, what uh, what Birdman means no, though? They'll, they'll, just, they'll just look at him go. What? what? Triggered? Triggered? Huh? You got a gun? <laughs> no, no, they don't think triggered is different. Is it? Different, different meaning for them. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's good. All right, well... Um, I now want to talk about things that you may not want to film. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh-oh. I can always yes, edit it. First of all, how are we going downstairs? There. I can you edit it. You better stop the video there. How are uh, we going? Oh, uh, good. <laughs> the, the drugs are kicked in and um, it's mostly gone. I've what got you, to get What are you talking about? Can you show us? My, no. What, what are my, you talking about? My urinary downstairs. tract infection. What do you mean downstairs? Downstairs. What's wrong with these downstairs? Pecker. Downstairs. The pecker's been infected. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Are you able to like urinate without having a razor blade come out? I've now I can, yeah. I took a video of myself trying to do You're that, and, and oh my god, I'm in pain. I can't, well, it as your face. Yeah, I can't post it because it's it's too painful. Yeah. And it's, <laughs> no, I think that that's. Um, yeah. I think this discussion is, is becoming. I mean, um, there's there's um. <laughs> Uh, it's deteriorating quite quickly. Look, look, there's, <laughs> into there's, garbage. He had to go there, didn't he? Uh, look, there's there's ailments and there's ailments, and and I think that ailment is just like um, uh, it's disgusting. I, I've had a brief thing with that. Was oh, it? did you? Yeah, no, no, it was it was. Um, John's distancing himself out of this. 
I had a moment. We had a bit of bit of it down there, but it, it wasn't. Um, <laughs> I don't, it was on like what, wasn't like what you had. Really. But, um, it was an experience I want to go back to. You know? No, it's um, if you have a worst enemy in the world that, that you want to do that to, yeah, that's get, get the thing. That, yeah. That's the one. Yeah. That'll do it. Yeah. John, you got a nice shopping bag there. That's my, my wife's. That's oh, really, that's uh, John, that's really rainbow coloured. No. That's, that's hey, rainbow. Are you, are you you're saying something about John? my bag? I'm, I was going to say something you're about your something bag, about but it's not bag. your John, bag. Here. I said it's very, looks like a rainbow design. You, 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 you've got anything else for rainbow? Rainbows. Designs? That's what it is. Do you have anything John, against rainbow design? Yeah, <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with that, John. <laughs> James is <laughs> triggering you. <laughs> See, now, if I was under 18, yeah. they'd be furious with me right now. Oh, I mean, I'd be fu furious yeah, with James right yeah. now. They, you'd be in a fight. I'd they'd, be in a fight. They'd be it's like fight. he's triggering me. Absolutely. You know? yeah, they'd be I, I just take it as, as just a banter. That's the advantage of being old and uh, a bit more stable. Yeah. Settled with your thoughts. Yeah, I think so. You know? You're calmer. These, yeah. These uh, young well, look people. Look how calm you are. Yeah, yeah, well. Hey. <laughs> and uh, these young people, they just. Uh, hey, isn't that 60s? Hey? Yeah, 65. <laughs> <laughs> but James, you're looking really cool. You're That's rocking the, the sunglasses and the beanie and the, you know, the whole outfit. It's just, yeah. yeah. Where's your bike? No, this is my bike. Look. This is my look. This is the my look. beanie. Is, have you got a motorbike? No. But the, the beard. Oh, the beard. That's a new thing. The beard. I love it. <laughs> I spend all day doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm winding mine back. What are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. You'll notice you wound yours. I just got the little goady thing happening. So is, there, is there a reason why you're bit. winding it back? Like you're feeling like, uh, like I want you to be honest. And not oh, just, you know and, I'm not, honest. and not just say, look, oh, oh. look if like, I can I, talk about my urinary tract infection, yeah. I can talk about yeah, my but there's some things pretend that, beard. Know, there's, there's some <laughs> things that might have an ego issue. You know, oh, whereas, ego's all through it, my God. Yeah. Yeah. So, what is it? Why have you wound it back? Is it, is it like, um, why just come out and tell us? A long viewers? time ago, someone said I looked older. Yeah. And I thought, do I want to look older? And at that time, I thought, yeah, I'll look older. And now I'm thinking, I don't want to look so old. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm getting that all the time now. What? People the... think I'm in my 60s. Yeah. Yeah. Why is that? Because i got this. Ah, of course. It's all grown white and grey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that just re-emphasises old because you're yeah. white and grey. Yeah, yeah. Whereas you took it off, left a moustache, they'd be thinking you're younger. Maybe. Maybe. Because that's a bit browner there. Yeah, it still. is. Yeah. It's all white here. Yeah, yeah. Um, and do you, how often do you trim that? Uh, look, not as often as I should. Really? Um, I yeah. need to shave more there and, and maybe yeah. trim that up around here. Yeah. Do you feel um, you're a bit of a narcissist when you do that, though? There's no narcissism in me whatsoever. Okay. In fact, all narcissists and all that lot, they need to be rounded up. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Because they're the reason why we have wars, John. That's it. Yeah. I love it. I love it. That's interesting. Yeah. I think that there's a little bit of a narcissist in all of us. I'm sure there is, but yeah. there's different levels. I think if it gets over like the point one level or something, those yeah. people need to be rounded up. And, yeah. and, and put on them, put, take them to Mars or something. They can be narcissists with each other. Okay. You know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. All the psychopaths out there, narcissists, yep. Um, yep. round them up. It, it should be like a gene. You have a gene test. And say, okay, look, you've got the narcissist psychopath gene. <laughs> and do it do it when they're young. Uh, and, and, and send them to Mars. That sounds like um, someone we heard about back in the 30s and the 40s. No, that, well, you're talking about Hitler. Yeah. Now, now what he was, he was trying to um, just pull out the blonde, blue-eyed people. I, oh. I, I'm not worried about that. No. I'm worried about the actual uh, mental health. Mental, yeah. uh, like the psychopaths and the, and the narcissists. If right. you can find that gene, okay. pull them out ah. and send them to Mars. Okay. On a SpaceX rocket. John, you're being very quiet there. Oh, look, I'm, he's triggering me at the moment. It's funny. I'm enjoying this, but um, you guys may not be, so I can stop if you want. Oh, look. Because um, you know I'm going to put this on YouTube. Yeah. yeah um, everything I've said so far, I'm quite comfortable with. Okay. It's, it's, when, um, it's when I don't know the camera's on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I say yeah. something like, I won't oh be my doing God, that. that Ricky, no, he's no, a no, left-leaning no, no, no. Facebook freak. No, no, you know say I mean? that. God, Ricky, and, and, and he's not, done. doesn't mean it, doesn't and mean then, it. And then it comes up on, and then Ricky... It's Ricky just an example, says, it's okay, you're not being triggered. Ricky says, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got to tell everyone about the um, radio control channel. I don't, I don't even know what it is. I haven't seen it. What, what's it called? I see. You put it on there, haven't you? Have you uploaded it? 
Oh, the Ricky and Jimbo RC car show. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. Have you been uploading it? Uploading video there? Um, you know, let me just share this with you, Harry. Oh, let's just get nice and close and personal. You know, yeah. when you put up something, right? Yeah. You know those, those vlog things you do? Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, uh, that uh, just focused on you? Yeah, yeah, nice. I at least go out and say, okay, well, I'll help the man. I'll take an interest in him and right. say, okay, I'll at least look at a little, little bit of it, yes. each one. Yeah, yeah. I'll take an interest in your life. Yeah, true. But you've just come flat out and said, I don't care about what you do. I haven't even seen your crap. You know what I mean? That's, uh, that's and that's a, the difference that's a between me for you. and you. <laughs> do that again. Can you point to the screen? That's the difference between me and you. <laughs> I love it. I think you've triggered him. Yeah, hey, I got I, I triggered him. Triggered. I did it on purpose. Now, I've actually seen some of the videos. So I like them. So you're lying. Yeah. You're I really lying. like... <laughs> 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 no, well... Um, <coughs> but I like them. I, I think they're really good. Well, it started... Um, really good. The slow-mo... The video capturing, the, the composition, the colour, everything, the sound effects, and the carnage. awesome, it's and the carnage, it's pure entertainment. Yeah, it started, I, I did a few vibers at Ricky's warehouse, yeah, um, yeah. his factory, his, his place, yeah. and I thought, I'll chain these together on Adobe oh, Premiere, so good. and, uh, and so then good. I thought, well, we'll do another one, Yeah. and it's really gone good. absolutely viral, we've got like five subscribers now, I yeah, yeah. one's my mum, it's nuts, it's yeah. gone crazy, I'm another one. JDX yeah. is on. Yeah, yeah. I think, you're, I think you're the third one. I'm going to be the third one. Yeah, it's gone absolutely ridiculously viral. I think the Ricky's the fourth. Uh, actually, no, Ricky will be third. I'll be fourth, I reckon, because I, I heard about it later. Than and I think guys, James yeah. the fifth. Yeah. So, so yeah. Got five. That, that's yeah. Like, like taking over the internet. It's brilliant. It's actually going viral. And uh, my notorious... Twenty's friends, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> my notorious, it, 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 um, when it hit the ground that one oh. time, it, it got bent. So it's in bits at the moment. Oh, right now. Yeah, getting. I got, I got the chassis out, all the bits. I'm gonna restart rebuilding today. Nice. I'm gonna go to the hobby shop later and get. I gotta get some screws. M M two point fives by six Woo! mils. That's very specific. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because I want to. I want to join you one morning and, and film it with you guys with well, the drone. We, uh, we we wait for you. No, no, no. <laughs> I I don't I say, have. Ricky, uh, is, is, is Harry going to be here? This is important to clarify. He's coming. He's coming. This is important to clarify. Harry. I, I don't have. I don't have notifications. Okay, I just looked out the window this morning and it's been raining all night and the uh, outside looks really cool. Oh wow, lots of bugs. We've got, um, we've got a whole lot of mist. It's very calm, really quiet. And uh, very interesting. Check it out. Gregory Elm Tree. Cool, man. Sunday, I think it's the fourteenth of June. Uh, I was watching a YouTube clip video earlier. There's a girl on there, I can't remember her name. Uh, Myra West. Myra West. She, um, oh man, I have to pause this. Uh, yeah, so Myra West, she po posted a video after, uh, this is a response I think to her viral video that got a million views because of uh, her honesty and her authenticity in front of the camera she shared how lonely she was in this video and um, I think pretty much everyone on the planet has felt loneliness at one one point in their life so they all they all well everyone who watched it kind of related I think uh, and it went viral which is understandable but it just made me think I, I think I know why people are drawn to YouTube and YouTubers 
uh, and the different personalities that people um, respond most to and that means uh, that yeah, they just like certain YouTubers more than others and they subscribe and, and um, become followers of them. Uh, it's just a natural thing that happens that naturally you're going to like someone more than um, someone else because you've just got the same kind of likes and personality traits. Uh, Alfie's intently watching someone. Come on, Alfie. Have you? Come on. No. No. Come on. Good boy. Have you? Um, yeah, so people know. So people are um, going to naturally be drawn to those people that they like, and hence um, you have followers. But what I find really, really interesting is this whole idea about um, how people can get followers and how people um, desire that, I guess, and how people who are following enjoy that. And I think it gets down to uh, the lack of intimacy and authenticity that we see in our day-to-day -day interactions with other people. So people who are not being real, authentic and honest with each other um, for whatever reason, they, they cause other people, not they cause, but all of us are like that. We all behave that way, so all of us miss out on having real authentic relationships for whatever reason, lack of time, just busyness, um, distractions, uh, more important thoughts in our brains going on at the moment than dealing with someone at a checkout or whatever. Um, yeah. So when, when people don't have enough intimacy in their life, I think they really start to behave strangely. Like we do, we act weird, we say weird things, um, we have strange desires. I think it all, I could be completely wrong here because I know nothing about it, but it just seems that we could be um, trying to fill in a gap uh, with anything that, that will help us get through lack of intimacy and um, lack of real connection. So, um, yeah, I think that's why people are drawn to people like uh, Myra, where they see someone being real and honest and then uh, want to enjoy that. This way, Alfie. Go. Come on. So, um, yeah, the... And that's, I guess that's why uh, I'm doing what I'm doing here. This is more for me than for you. I'm actually talking about things that are deep and meaningful to me in my life and sharing that to the camera, which is uh, kind of you, but not really, because I don't know you. I don't know who you are. Uh, but it's, it's real for me. And um, when you respond in the comments and things like that, that's when I get a taste of who you are and because you like me, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to like you. And so it becomes real. It's like it's a, it's a real uh, connection that you have through YouTube, through a, through a camera. It doesn't have to be YouTube. It's just through a camera. Like YouTube is just a platform. So it could be, you know, a website. It could be a FaceTime. It could be anything. That's, that's what real intimacy and community, I think, is all about, is where you talk to someone that you like and, and that they like which is you yeah uh, and I think like the pursuit of subscribers and things like that it's a goal I, I want a million subscribers just because it's a, something I can aim for and, and work towards as opposed to um, you know I'm goalless I don't have any desire for like one subscriber or a hundred thousand million subscribers it's more uh, to keep me to keep me going and doing this, I want to set a goal for a million subscribers just so that I've got something to aim for, that's all. It's going to happen like naturally because there's, when you think about it, there's close to 10 billion people on the planet or there will be by 2050. Of the 10 billion people, there are going to be people who are my age, my look, my gender, uh, have my interests. There's, there's, there's a number out there, and I think the number is more than what we think. And so 
it's just going to take time for those people to stumble across my channel and me and say hey that's someone like me i like i like that i'm gonna i'm gonna uh connect with that guy and so i'm not concerned about the number it's more the when like i i don't want to die before i meet all of you people <laughs> put it that way i'm a bit selfish so uh I'm looking forward to the day where um, I can see and meet and talk with uh, a lot more of you who are like me because I like talking like this and I'm sure that the subscribers that are out there that are like me like that too. So it would be good to start talking sooner than later so that um, your life has intimacy, authenticity and realness which is what I really desire. I live for that. And uh, that's why I married my wife. That's why, you know, I've got a relationship with my kids and my friends. We're real with each other. I can't stand fake friendships. It drives me nuts. Like when you pretend to be something that you're not just so that you're looking good in front of your friends. I hate that. I'm sure you do too. And I'm pretty sure that's why Myra's channel has blown up because she was being, with real, she was being real with everyone just saying, hey, I'm super lonely going through this stuff. I don't understand it. Here's what's going on. And when you're like that, far out, it's, it's, it's your planet then. You own it. It's wonderful. So there you go. There's my daily, my rant. I'm coming up to my forest entrance again. So thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. I uh, really appreciate you. And... Um, like I said before, this is kind of my therapy, so thanks for putting up with my blurbing, rambling, real, authentic, honest self. We'll talk soon. See you in the next one. For Larger Than Life, my pilot episode coming up soon. Did a bit of research last night and a bit of testing. <clears throat> See that? It's a suction cap with a quarter inch uh, screw thread on the top there and a tightening nut. That's very important, a tightening nut. I'm gonna mount that to my car and mount this camera to this suction cup so that I can get footage of cars driving through streets during the day, during the night, get some cloud shots as well. Then, with the, um, the data projector uh, there, I'm gonna project that footage onto the wall there <laughs> and uh, maybe I don't even have to green screen I'm just going to put, put um, this prop for larger than life on some kind of like a 44 gallon drum or something like that which is then turning so that the wheels spin and it makes it sound like it's on the road and then project the road in the background on the from the data projector and see if I can get uh, some useful footage for replicating that vehicle, that space vehicle, driving on a road with real road footage. This is going to be interesting. I'll let you know how I go. Uh, so I'm, I've got to get day shots, night shots. I'll get on the motorbike and in the car from the front, left and right so that I can choose which footage to use for which situation and all I'm going to do <laughs> I don't know why I find this funny but all I'm going to do is reuse the exact same footage time and time and time again for every future episode so that it's kind of a running joke that um, we're, we're in a car driving now and <laughs> for whatever reason <laughs> uh, I've got a weird sense of humor I don't know why that's funny I just find that really funny so uh, all right I'm going to um, do that sometime today and tonight and then we'll get this episode planned out Probably going to take a month, I reckon, to get the episode finalized because there's a lot of uh, establishing shots that I've got to get set up and I've got to work out in my head <clears throat> what the um, fine detail of the story is going to be for the pilot as well. There's still a lot to do, but uh, yeah, really motivated. The other thing is, I was watching Gary Vanichuk and he was talking about selling stuff. So on this table, I have got all this stuff which I'm going to sell on eBay or uh, on Facebook uh, Marketplace. Um, yeah, all, all this stuff on this table because I want that space back. And I've got stuff underneath as well, which um, I need to move. 
So I've um, got a fair bit to get done. And Gary Vaynerchuk is saying that that buying and selling stuff and selling online, you can make a reasonably good income out of. So um, yeah, I'm still looking for work. So in the interim of trying to find a job, I'll, I'll do all these wacky things to try and make money to survive. Um, if you want some video work done, give me a call. If you want some photography work done, give me a call. If you want uh, computer support work done, give me a call. If you want IT project management or just project management, give me a call. Let me know because, um, yeah, this COVID thing's really knocked me about a bit. We've, um, it's, it's harder than I thought now to get a job. So I've got to think of different ways to get some income. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty versatile. I'm fairly pragmatic and I am creative in my solutions and problem solving. So I honestly think there's nothing that we humans cannot do. I honestly truly believe that. And I think that of myself, that there's anything that I want to do, I can do it. Uh, it's just a matter of putting in time and effort. And that's where it's, um, that's where it gets harder because the time and effort is, is uh, something I struggle with in terms of, do I really want to do this? How much time, how much effort am I going to put in to do it? So it's not a question of whether I can do it or not. It's what is the priority to get it done? So that's probably something I need to work on as well. But um, yeah, I'm good with people. I'm a I'm really good team builder. So uh, if you want team building done and you want uh, people to lead and make things happen, then I'm that guy. Uh, yeah, so it's a bit of an advertisement for what I need to happen in my life now. I'm doing all that I can um, and I'd appreciate any help I can get from you as well. All right, thank you. We will talk soon. And like I said, I can't wait for this pilot episode of Larger Than Life. It's going to be so interesting. It'll either flop really badly and be horrible. Uh, but I can tell you now, either way, I'm going to love it. Whether it's popular or not, I just keep on making it because I just love the whole idea of it. I like it. Okay, talk soon. All right, I've been asked to help put a barn door rail system to, to move a sliding door around. An upmarket, nicer looking arrangement that's currently in one of my daughter's bedrooms. So uh, yeah, we bought this barn door mechanism like months ago and I haven't put together, I haven't put it together yet, so I'll do it today. It's in that box right there underneath the guitar case. So let's pull that out. We'll have a look at the instructions, see see what's involved. I don't think it's going to be too hard.
Happy. Is it nap time? Nap time. Your nap time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Imogen, come inside your room. Get it yourself, home.